the geometrical concepts such as a straight line, a curved line, then different shapes such as an oval, a circle, etc. seem to be derived from the living and non-living elements of the nature around us. If you look at veins on the leaf, the edges of sharp objects like stones, then raindrops falling one after another, and many such objects in the nature, these represent straight lines. These may not be as straight as defined in basic geometrical concept of a straight line. However, the essential property of being straight edge is present in all these. As such, definition of geometric straight line might have been derived from such similar examples of approximately straight lines that appear in the nature around us. So, in the nature we find mostly the approximations of different geometrical concepts that are derived in mathematics. So, now we know what are geometric straight lines. Let us explore what are intersecting lines. Look at the veins on the sleeve. These veins which represent approximately straight lines are in the same plane of the leaf and meet each other at this point. Such lines are called as intersecting lines which meet each other at one point called as intersecting point. Let us look at similar examples of intersecting lines that we find in the nature. We can easily understand the concept of intersecting lines with the help of two straws. These two straws represent two lines, line L and line M. These two lines lie in the same plane, hence are called as coplanar. But the distance between them is not equal. It is increasing as you can see. And if we extend these lines further, they intersect each other at this point A. Such lines which lie in the same plane, hence called as coplanar, but the distance between them is not equal so that when they are extended further, they intersect each other at a point are called as intersecting lines. Well, now you know what are intersecting lines. Let us understand concept of parallel lines. Have a look at veins on the sleeve. These veins which represent approximately straight lines are in the same plane of the leaf and do not meet each other at any point. Thus, the distance between these lines remains the same. Such lines are called as parallel lines. Let us look at similar examples of parallel lines we find in the nature. Let us understand the concept of parallel lines with the help of two straws. These two straws represent line L and line M. They lie in the same plane. Also, if you see distance between them is equal. That means, even if we extend the line L and line M in both the directions, they will never meet each other. Such lines which lie in the same plane, hence are called as coplanar and distance between them is equal are called as parallel lines. Humans have made the purposeful use of this geometrical concept of parallel lines in our day to day life. Just flip the first page of your notebook. Can you see the ruled lines are parallel? Had they not been parallel, just imagine what would have happened to your writing. Look at this picture. The carriage of the train 
moves on the rails. The wheels are fixed and thus the distance between them is fixed. The train runs on the track without its wheels colliding with each other. The rails must have the same distance maintained between them, so the rails are parallel lines. The horizontal planks joining the rails are perpendicular to the rails and they are also parallel. The vehicles running in the parallel lanes do not collide with each other as distance between them is maintained due to parallel lanes. If you see this picture, the swimmers do not collide with each other as they are swimming in the parallel lanes. Look at this picture. During rowing competition, the oar men's oars should be parallel to each other for faster speed of the boat. Farmer sows the seeds or plants the saplings in the parallel lanes on the farm field. Look at the parallel lanes marked on the ground for the running competitions. The artistic use of parallel lines on the ways are some more examples of parallel lines. Sometimes we see parallel lines around us very obviously even though they might not have been used purposefully. Look at the arrangement of books. Their edges are parallel to each other. Look at the roof of the house. You can see parallel lines in the form of sides of the road. So, we find wide applications of geometrical concept of parallel lines all around us in our day-to-day -day life. You may also start finding such applications. So, keep exploring.